Now that you understand the concepts of the power tools, we can take those concepts and move them into a workflow in Metastock. We'll begin our workflow in the Explorer. We'll take a list of instruments against a strategy and determine which of those instruments is generating a buy or sell signal today based off of that criteria. Once we have a list of generated instruments, we can take that, move it into the system tester, test our strategy over time to determine how well those systems have performed against our instruments. And once we have the most profitable instruments, we can open our charts, apply the expert advisor, follow the commentary, and follow the trade through. With that, let's go ahead and go into Metastop. To begin this workflow, we'll need to start with the Power Console open. If the Power Console is not already open, you can open it by going to the top left-hand corner of your screen and clicking on the P for Power Console. We're going to begin this workflow with the Explorer. We'll click on the Explorer tab in the Power Console. Once you've opened the Explorer, you can see a list of all the different scans that are built into Metastock. Each of these scans give you different results based off of the criteria that you choose. For our, for our workflow, we're going to choose the MACD buy signal. So what we're going to do is look for stocks that are giving a MACD buy opportunity today based off of the, the MACD criteria. We'll highlight that and select next. For our, for our purposes here, let's choose the S&P 500 stock list. We highlight it and then make sure every, the select all button is chosen to select all the securities. We'll select Next, and then we simply need to start the exploration. As the, as the explorer goes through and identifies its trading opportunities, it's looking at each stock individ individually to determine whether or not there is a buy signal on the MACD today. So as you can see, as it goes through the list, it will filter, at, right now it's filtering about 96. That can change based off of market conditions and, and what's happening. Now that the scan is completed, we can choose Reports. And then this, the Explorer will give us a list of stocks that are meeting that MACD buy signal criteria. So here we probably have about 10 to 15 securities that are meeting our criteria. I can rank on any of these columns. So if I choose Close, I can double click and rank based off of the closing price, the MACD value the percent above MACD value, or whatever the criteria that I choose here. Now when I have 10 to 15 securities based off of a, uh, a scan, it may be tough to know which of these may be the best one to trade. So what I'm going to do is I'm going